XG versus the Cleveland Launcher Turbo now, if I was to think about what club should go with what, I feel like this Launcher Turbo should go with the PXG driver because it was so, so forgiving. Yeah. Um, so I want to see really the difference uh, in, in consistency between the two, the dispersion. Okay. That's all I care about really. Um, I think the PXG will go longer. I think this will be slightly better dispersion, but we'll find out, will we? Let's find out. Okay, so we've got the PXG three wood. Um, so we're going to do three shots of the tee and three shots of the deck, uh, and it's just about consistency. Obviously, if it goes miles, it's, it's great, but um, it's about consistency for this, this particular exercise. Shot one. Ah, oh, it's close. It's just on the right side. Yeah, nice shot. Has to be down the middle. Yeah, right down the middle. Good shot. Just missed the fairway right. Oh, whatever. 255. I thought good. Yeah, good shot. It's miles. It is a tight fairway. Three off the ground. Yeah. It's missed the fairway right again. <coughs> it's definitely a fair bias on that. Definitely fair bias for me, for sure. That's you starting at more left there, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just starting at more left now. Yeah, yeah. It's on the fairway. I mean, you, you just you just work it out, wouldn't you? Yeah, that's it. You can see I've hit a fade there. I was. That's right in the middle. Yeah. Good shot. Is that six? Uh, that's six. Yeah. So let's get a look at those. Let's. That's that last shot there, nice and straight. So we've got three on the fairway and three out to the right. Yeah. Um, but it's like I said, it's like, if you know that that club's gonna fade, yeah. you just allow for it, don't you? Exactly, the last two I did and the last two went straight. Yeah, let's go look at the Cleveland. So here we go, here's the Cleveland. We're gonna do the same uh, exercise. Mm -hmm. uh, if, you can, if I put yeah. these down on the ground, look at the difference. Look at the difference. Now to me, which one looks easy to hit? <laughs> it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty easy so, to... Yeah, see the difference there. Smaller footprint. They're kind of the kind of similar in the in the style with the carbon fiber. They have yeah, they have this sort of step here. Yeah, and this groove on both, don't they? Yeah. A um, little bit of a, a more noticeable lineup line here on the PXG. Yeah. In comparison to the Cleveland, but yeah. similar, very very similar in looks. Again, the face. Similar. Again, I, you know. Can you see the grooves on the Cleveland when you put it down on the ground? I'll find out. It's definitely a bigger footprint. You can see. I mean, it's it's a bigger club, or, or you know, yeah, over everywhere. Um, so for me, that sounds like it's going to be easy to hit. Now that thing is a machine. I mean, I was hitting 250 off the deck there. That's big for me. Um, I won't expect this getting anywhere near that. I think the spin will be higher. Can you see the grooves? Put the club down there. See. Yes. Okay. So does that make you feel like you can line it up more? With the um, middle, middle no, of the not cup. really. No. I, I don't really use, look at the grooves actually. I'll just look at the, the top top line really. Right. Yeah. Um, so, uh, six shots, three off the tee, three off the deck. What are you thinking? Are you thinking longer, similar, or shorter than the PXG? I guess the first thing I'm thinking about is easier to launch. It might pop up more. Yeah. It might spin a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, and you might just be a little bit more consistent with it. But you know, okay. that's what you would think. It's just so towed in compared to that, and there's yeah. so much more offset. It's, right, okay. it's mad. Well, the whole range of Cleveland was for the slicer, really, isn't it? Yeah. Certainly more left, the looks of it. That's middle of the fairway. <laughs> 252. Woo. Nice start. Yeah, that's a bit, that's one of those hooky ones, maybe, you know, but. It's, uh, it's getting used to it's the game, it's getting yeah. used to it. But look how far that has gone, it's 264. Mate. That yeah. is huge. Yeah. So now, I'm, where before I was trying to hit it left, where I'd usually, now I'm going to hit it right where, I used to, where mm -hmm. I usually would. So it's kind of manipulating where you sort of strike the ball, really, and where you go, starting point. Oh. 
Yeah, on the fairway, 256. Good shot. I just love this club, mate. You I do, just, I know. I love it. Yep. It's just, when you present the, the club to the ball, it just looks so easy to hit. Yep. That's, that's the thing, and the offset, and slightly toed in, and it just feels like you can it give it a go. It gives you that confidence yeah. from, the, from the outset. That wasn't the best strike, but I bet that's pretty good. 247 on the middle of the fairway. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's, is that where the extra, extra sort of forgiveness comes into it? Yeah. I don't know. You don't even have to know, you don't have to, look, I mean, it's straight down the middle, 252, good spin. For me, it's a winner already. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's mad, isn't it? You think, I don't know. Pretty mind blowing, this thing. Beautiful. I Beautiful. Remember, I remember there's a guy. It's in, gone left, though. That's a shame. But it's, it was good. There's a guy in, and he plays off about one or two. And it's the last golf club he would have thought of trying, and yeah. he, he's thinking of buying one. You know, yeah. it's just interesting. Well, that's interesting numbers, and this is where, we, when you were saying about fade bias versus towed in. Yeah, look at that. So again, yellow would be the Cleveland. And everything, most of it's gone left of the target line. Yeah, centre to left, uh, yeah. and the PXT is centre to right. And that's purely down, for me, it's down to the offset and how it sort of sets up and looks at the ball. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, for me, it's, it's all day long, it's the Cleveland. I just think this is just so good for so many people. Um, if you look at that as well, if we go back to that, the miss being out to the right with the PXG is so much shorter than the miss with the left of the, of the Cleveland, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. You know, so, you know, if you take in your miss yeah. being right or left, but also short and long, yeah. you know, you're really losing an awful lot of distance on the right shots. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I think this is, you know, I don't really need a massive amount of distance in my driver, in my three wood, sorry, because I've hit quite a long ball regardless. So. I'm not too bothered if it misses long left or short right for me, um, but especially for the guys who, are, who want more distance, it just makes complete sense to go for a Cleveland. And the only reason why we're comparing these two, usually we wouldn't because this is crazy expensive and this isn't, but because this has been discounted heavily, it's almost the same price bracket. It's not far um, away. It's close, you know? Mm -hmm. So um, that's why we've done it. But there you go, you know, PXG, Gen uh, 0341X, Gen 2, nowhere near. Cleveland. Yeah. Impressed with the PXG, but I think the, the Cleveland still, still takes it, doesn't it? It's still king. Yeah, it's still... It's, it'll take a lot to knock it off its perch, you know? It will do. It really yeah. will. Yeah. Cheers. Thanks.